What makes something alive or considered by scientists to be a living thing? Well, we know that air, steel, rock, and water is not alive, but why? Well, there are eight characteristics of living things that we can define briefly. An organism is anything that has or once had all of these characteristics. As we go through, notice if they apply to you. First, an organism must maintain homeostasis, the process that maintains balance in the body. For example, we sweat in response to heat in order to lower our temperature. Mammals shiver to warm themselves again. Second, an organism must display organization, meaning all of its anatomy directly, directly relates to its physiology and vice versa. Or, in other words, its shape directly relates to its function. For example, a bird's beak or its feathers relate directly to its function. For instance, feathers help birds stay warm and they also help birds fly. Our external ears also catch sound waves so they can be amplified in the middle ear. Third, all organisms reproduce to pass on traits to their offspring. They can re reproduce sexually or asexually. Fourth, all organisms require energy for all internal processes. Some make their own food, such as plants, and some take in food, like bacteria or amoebas, and also fungi, or humans. Fifth, all organisms must evolve over time. Their adaptations or inherited traits change in populations over time to help species survive. Sixth, all organisms are made of one or more cells. Bacteria and proteists, for example, are made of only one cell. And others, like tall, tall redwood trees, are made of trillions of cells. Seven, all organisms must grow and develop, meaning that to be defined as a living thing, you must be uh, able to get bigger. And also, as you do, you develop stronger abilities. For example, as an insect grows, it may develop the ability to fly. And finally, the last characteristic of life is that all organisms respond to stimuli, meaning all organisms react to things inside and outside the body, such as when a snake uh, chases a mouse because of its need for food, and the mouse runs away to survive the snake.